September 21st, 1987. It's been one year since I first went inside that house. I have to finish what I started. What I am about to do has not been approved by the Vatican. Hello ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to my new spooky let's play. My name is Siperos and this is Fate, the Unholy Trinity. My most anticipated horror adventure game of this year, developed by Airdoff Games, consisting of only one guy, Mason Smith, and this last chapter was published by New Blood Interactive last Friday on 21st of October 2022. The first two were self-published by Airdoff. I was originally going to play this game exactly a year ago around Halloween, but then I noticed that Fate was going to have three chapters, and the third one was still in development at the time. So I decided to wait and play this next year on this spooky month, assuming the last chapter would be released by then, and luckily it was. So what is Fate? It's a story about a young priest struggling against demons, insane cultists, and his own weekend in Fate while on a mission that has not been approved by the Vatican, as we just learned. I believe exorcism rituals will be a thing here. As you just saw, Fate is a pixel horror game inspired by the era of classic 8-bit gaming, using retro graphics similar to the graphics of Apple II and Atari 2600. The so-called satanic scare of the 1980s was also an inspiration for Fate. And that's all I know. I don't know if this is going to be more like an old-school point-and-click adventure game, or more like a survival horror game. I believe that you can die in the game though. But let's find out, so without further ado, Let's start our new, spooky, demonic, 8-bit and hopefully scary adventure. But actually, before that, let's see, uh, do I even need a mouse here? Well, let's assume that no, I don't need a mouse here. Hm, I like how, I assume that they, I assume that they are using Latin uh, lang language here. Initus means begin, apparently. Cate catechismus, instruction, uh, configuration, options. Additica, Extras, Atticia, Atticia, I don't know, Abidus, and e Exit. Okay, let's check the options here, that's what we have here. So as you can see, the master volume is already very, very low, because the game was, was just so loud for me. So if you want me to adjust the volumes in any way, let me know in the comments. Let's see. Scan lines, Opacity A and B, I don't know what these are. Effects, Aberration. Well, maybe we can mess around with the effects uh, in the game. Display, fit, background, uh, Sutek C. I assume that by background it means these two sidebars on the on right and left. That's what I assume it means. Full screen, window size, controller, rumble, so we can use a controller here as well. Hmm, this game might be one of those that feels better uh, with a controller, but we shall see. Let's, let's just try with the keyboard and possibly the mouse uh, for now. Stick, dead zone, high of, higher values, less sensitive. Okay, demons, not enabled. Okay, that's intriguing. Okay, let's just go with this for now. And let's just begin. Hmm? Ah, that, that's chapter one. Capitulum. Unum, Duo, and Tres. Marathon mode. All three chapters in one uh, session. Well, I guess I go with the marathon mode. Or should I just go with the uh, chapters like this? I mean, is there really that much of a difference at, w at which way I go? Do I, do I just go with chapter 1, 2, and then 3? Or should I go with the marathon mode? Well, let's play it safe and go with, uh, and go with like this. Let's start with chapter 1. Fate Chapter 1. Okay, uh, continue, new game. Yes, new, what are these? Notes. Read collected notes. Okay, so let's keep an eye out for these. Notes. Okay, new game. Oh, not quite yet. Not yet unlocked. Flashlight mode, lantern mode, and turbo. Okay, I guess we just go with this.
So we arrive arrive at the house, presumably. I'm using my I'm using my WASD uh, keys here to move. This is one of these notes, I take it. Have you forgotten already? This forest has a mind of its own. If you get lost, you could always try remembering where you have been. Pressing the escape key or start button is a good place to start. Hmm. Okay. Wait, that's... Oh, there we go. Resume. Notes. Options. Quit. Exit. I assume that by exit, uh, exit the game, uh, and quit to main menu. Okay. I was wondering at first, at first, at what the difference was. Okay, so is this a map that we see above? That's the highway. That's where we are, presumably. Is that a? This game is so pixelated that you don't always know that what is what. But I assume that that's a well of some kind. There's a house, and then there is the house, uh, way above. I don't know what that stick figure is. Could be a tree for all I know. Oh shit! This game is not fucking around. Already coming at us with the scares. Shit, can't you run? Run, you son of a bitch! Now, did we just go to a different uh, screen or. Not sure, not sure if we are just moving in circles. Let's just ignore that, whatever that thing is. A demon, presumably. Oh hey, it's a deer. Isn't that nice? So we go all the way to north. What's this? Can I use E to interact? Oh shit! Well, no time to, no time to think about that. Oh crap! Mortis. I'm. I believe that means dead. Or death. Well, we are dead. I know that much. Okay, so we continue from here straight away. Okay. Okay, let's just move on. Oh, hey, here's a deer again. Running away now. Run, 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 run! Ah, oh, that was a close one. That was a close one. Okay, ah, oh, here's the well. Hmm? Ah. Oh. We just took out, took out our cross, and we just performed an exorcism, I suppose. Did we free a spirit or something from that well? You are invited. Come celebrate Nate and Jason's sixth birthday. Saturday, May 3rd, 12 p.m. to 4 p.m. Directions? Turn right at 1338 Snake Meadow Hill Road and go straight past the well. Okay, well, we are at the well here. I wonder if this works against that demon thingy. Can I... By the way, is there a way to save here? Not that I can see. And also, there's this crooks, that yellow, and not this moving yellow cross here, but that, but the other one uh, uh, below us. I is that our inventory per se? We can see what what items we are carrying. Okay, well let's just continue further to, further to the, to the north. And here's the house. But there was also something else, too. Yeah, go go after that deer. Leave me be and... Leave me be and go, go after that deer, please. Oh, shit. I was trying to use my cross, but apparently I was too late. Well, that was, that's, that's my second death. Okay, that does work. That does work, okay. I just have to... I just have to be good with the timing. Okay. So, so we can defend ourselves. Get the fuck out. Yes, we know about that. Okay, so let's go to the other direction. There was another house. Or 
cottage over here. Maybe it's a garage. Man, don't get stuck to the trees. Get out of here! This is great. Ah, what is this? Okay. Public lecture by Carl James Osborne. Connecticut. Uh, I don't know how to pronounce that. I believe that's a state. Connecticut's historical connections to witchcraft, Satanism, and the Beast System. Wednesday at 8 p.m. Okay. Good to know, I suppose. So, is there anything else over here? Or was that the was that the house thingy from map or from this map? No, it can't be. Don't mind me. Or should we just go to the house? We move quite slowly too. And as far as I can tell, there is no way to uh, run or sprint or anything. Hmm? Hey! Oh! Shut up! Jesus! What are those things? Were they kids or maybe those cultists? You go away! Are we just gonna follow them? Well, like, I suppose we are. Oh, hey, is that a little playhouse? Mm hmm. Oh, there's something outside. Okay, so we can see the key here called Clavis. Go away. Oh, we saved here. Nice. Okay, so now the game has saved. Or at least that's what I assume the uh, symbol on the bottom right, bottom left meant the floppy disk. Okay, here's here's a bit of text here. The Martins' house lies about a hundred yards off of uh, Snake Meadow Hill Road. There is almost no driveway. Trees just out in the middle of a gravel path that is mostly covered in uh, grass. It was difficult to find the house. Especially since it was already dark when we arrived. Father Alred, is that Alred or Alfred? Father Alred, I guess I think it's Alred, uh, seemed to know where he was going. He simply drove straight ahead until we arrived at the house. Is there more text here? Oh yes, there is quite a bit of text. In the headlights, I saw an old shed off to the right of the path. Father Allred explained that he would rather perform the exorcism away from the house, but the Martins had insisted that Amy remain inside. He complained that having the family present makes it difficult to proceed with elements of the... right? That may seem harsh to the lay person. Okay. Well, let's go and check that whatever that stick figure is. Actually, we really should have gone there uh, from the very start because it's the closest thing. Now that I think about it, so that was dumb of me, but... Oh well. Oh, is that a dead squirrel? Maybe a cat? Chaos reigns, Chaos reigns you say? There's no interact button, I don't think. So if we want to look at something or pick up something, we just walk to it, which is simple enough. Okay, this must be the tree. Withered, dead-looking tree. Alright, and what is this? Today I noticed Amy's favorite tree looks like it's dying. All the needles are falling off it, and the bark is peeling. I guess I'm more upset about it than Amy is. She is totally absorbed in her voluntary work at the clinic. I guess it's good that she found something she is passionate about. But I have gotten ugly looks from some of the women at book club. Kathy and her religious friends won't even talk to me anymore. Why? What's wrong with Amy? Is she one of those demon childs or possessed kids or something? Like from the exorcism? Suffer. 
<laughs> I was about to say that 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 demonic being hasn't uh, hasn't really tried to surprise us for for a while, and there he is. I jinxed it. Okay, and then we just go to go further to, to the north till till we reach the house. This is one big ass yard, by the way. Oh, yard. Okay, there's I saw there's some there's some someone in there. I saw it. Okay, well let's enter. Okay, we are inside the house and and immediately there's a note. Mr. and Mrs. Martin greeted us at the front porch. Mr. Martin led us downstairs to the basement, explaining that Amy was down there in restraints. I felt for him. There was there was guilt and shame in his voice. Amy was in the very back of the attic in a chair, perfectly calm, staring at us. It is hard to describe the look on her face. It was not the kind of look a child gives you. Creepy. There's a family picture with colors, so it must be... Can I... Yes, I can. We just exorcisted the evil spirits from this photo, I guess. Okay, that's the family photo, I guess. That's Mr. and Mrs. Martin and Anna, was it? She has that smug, knowing look on her face. Now that's a coat. Nothing interesting about that. A grandfather clock. Okay, so we can either go here or to the west here, and I believe that uh, and I believe that those are stairs on the east. Well, let's check here first. Maybe this takes us to the living room. Oh no, it's the kitchen. What do we have here? That kind of looks like a banana. And uh, what is this? Is that a drawing made by... Oh no, it says Nate. Okay. So wait, did they have three kids here? Anne, Nate, and whatever the third kid's name was from the birthday card or whatever. Can I even access the notes? Yes. This one here. Jason and Nate. Okay. Oh wait, was it... What was the girl's name? Uh, it was Amy. Ah, Amy. Why did I think about Anne? Well, they both start with A. Okay. And this takes us to the back. We can't open it, though. Well, I didn't want to go outside anyway. Okay, here is the living room. Does it, does it seem to be anything that sticks out in here besides this green plant? Does the television work? I guess not. Can't sit down and relax either. And what room is this? A bedroom? Okay. So far nothing really interesting. Is that a mirror? Yes it is. Oh. Is that just my shadow or... Can we exorcist this damn mirror? It's creepy. Maybe it's just my shadow or just a ghost. Or just a... Or just a... Uh, some sinister ghost about to kill me any, uh, at any second now. That's also possible. Well, let's go upstairs. The kids' room must be here. Hmm. Is that a bike? I believe it is. And what are these? Weights? And that's not that's never a good sign. A blood trail. Well, I guess we ha we ha we have to open it. Well, we can apparently. Maybe it's locked. Okay, and here we have a a bathroom. That yellow thingy there must be a a, a duck. Yeah, you know, one of those plushy uh, plastic uh, ducks that you have in your uh, bathrooms in the top for some reason. Never understood that. Hmm. 
And what do we have here? Okay, there's a note here. This must be one of the kids' rooms. I guess I was the only one who thought to check in the attic. When I got up there, it was freezing cold. I found Amy standing in the back, looking straight at me like when I first met her downstairs. We spoke briefly, although it was frustrating to talk to her, or it, referring to the demon that possessed her, I suppose. I experienced a bit of deception from the demon. Yeah, I was right, demon. During our conversation, she uttered my mother's first name, and in other instances, I spoke perfect Latin. I called for help from the others, but nobody came. So I raised my crucifix and began to write again. Alright. So that's what happened. What's that? A stuffed toy, maybe? Bob must be stationed somewhere in the Middle East, because he sent over this weird-looking doll for Amy's birthday. I'll ask Anis about it next time we have book club. She looks like she could be from over there. Amy didn't seem excited to see the doll. I think she would rather have a phone instead. Or maybe seeing a baby doll makes her feel self-conscious about working at the clinic. Okay, and that's really it, by the looks of it. Oh, this, okay, this must be the boys' room. Amy is a bit older, I guess. She has her own room and everything. And uh, Nate and... Nate and Jason are, well, they seem to be at least six years old. Lots of toys around here. <laughs> and I think I even recognize some of them. I believe that this one, this white one here is a, a clown phone with wheels. I remember having one of those as a kid as well. That seems like a toy radio. And is that Simon Says a game? I think it is. And then we got some, I don't know, Transformers action figurines. Can I exorcist any of these? Oh, and that's the tablet that you can write on. I assume so anyway. It's so neat to recognize these uh, old toys, even though they are so pixelated. They are all, all colored too, so... Am I supposed to exorcist uh, at least one of these? That looks like a toy radio. Okay. Can't check the drawers. Did I try, try and check these? Hmm. And then there's the world map. And we still can't go in there, can we? Let's see, uh... Let's check options. Uh, is there a way to check the controls, actually? Hmm... Quit, options, notes... I don't think there is. I mean, the controls are supposed to be so simple that you don't even need you don't even need to need to check check the check the controls from the options menu apparently, but I kind of feel that I that I do because I still can't enter here, can I? E is not interact, neither is enter. Now that yellow duck is not. Oh wait, it is glowing. It was kind of hard to see because it, it is already yellow. Okay. I don't feel safe in my own home anymore. I hear voices outside around the house at night. I don't let the twins go out in the woods to play because I'm afraid of what's out there. The house itself feels stressed, distorted. Slanted somehow. It's like I'm walking through a carnival fun house. Amy's condition has only gotten worse. I can't stand to be around her, and I don't know why. She just doesn't seem like herself anymore. I want to take her to the doctor, but I can't leave the boys here. I find that the phone stops working throughout the day, and now I can't seem to find my car keys. Thank God Bob comes home tomorrow, so Bob must be the husband, Mr. Martin. 
Okay. Has anything changed here? Nope. I bet I must exorcise one of these toys. That must be it. But which one? And also, am I... How pixel accurate is it? Am I have to be... I might have to be standing in a specific spot exactly in order to trigger the exorcism because that would be annoying. Just because this game is inspired by the 1980s 8-bit games, Atari 2600 and the like, doesn't mean that I want uh, pixel perfect precision when it comes to exorcism and stuff. Hmm. And we already ex exorcised, exercised, exorcised, however, however you say it. We have already done it to this stuffed toy here. And to that duck. There is no way to interact with your uh, interact with your environment other than doing this as far as I can tell also was there was there stairs in the kitchen here oh this must lead to the basement hm, I I thought that that was someone for for a moment but no it's just a mannequin I think in before that thing starts moving. Okay, what's over here? Oh, it's a laundry room. What do we have there? I guess nothing. Seems that they have a bit of a leak problem. So quiet, it's eerie. And all these mannequins. Why do they have so many mannequins down here? And why and why do they have uh, apparently white sheets all over them, making them look like ghosts? A sewing machine. Okay, let's just assume that these things are not are not gonna move. Uh, are not gonna uh, suddenly start to move. Oh. Okay, this is where the exorcism ritual must have happened. That's not a good sign, but... Let me at the very least... Oh. Guess I can't read the note. Oh. Crap. That must be Amy. Why am I up here? She's here, you say? Okay, um... Uh, did the game save? I didn't check the... I didn't check if, if there was a floppy disk symbol on the bottom left. Actually, did we get that note? Let's see. Um, yeah, we have read all of this. Still can't enter here, and what the hell is happening there? Oh shit! Okay, that that got me. Now the now the question is, when 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 was the last time the game saved? Oh, at this point, perfect. Yeah, she's here, all right. We just can't see her, apparently. All right, come here, you bitch. Take that. Oh. Oh, what? Oh. What a... 
What a trickster you are. What a trickster you are. Also, how, how long have I been playing? Not sure. Not sure, I lost the track of time. This is too intense. Okay, well... Let's see if we can at the very least... Uh, defeat her. Come here. Yeah, come here, you... Now, which one is it? Is it always the same? Well, let, let's assume that it's always the same. Also, I really like this... I, I really like the way how they made these cutscenes. Or he, because there's only one developer, but still. Really like the way how he did this uh, cutscenes. Obviously, cutscenes like this would have not been possible with Atar with Atari or Apple II or Ata Atari 2600, but still. Okay, is it? Yeah, it was the bottom one. Jeez. Okay. Okay, it was different this time. I just have to be fast. Are you gonna come back? Or should we go to a different room? Okay, she's coming. Like that. And then in her own room. Come at me, bro. Or is she not attacking uh, attacking me in her own room? Maybe not. Oh, there she is. Yeah, take that. That door is still uh, locked or closed. Are we supposed to leave the house, maybe? Well, let's see. Oh, okay, nice. Now it's open. Okay, that takes us to the attic. Yeah, note. Molly, the church might contact you in a few days to tell you their version of what happened to me. I want you to hear it from me first. A year ago, I was involved in the exorcism of Amy Martin. What they said in the papers about what happened isn't true. She, my superior father, with when I confronted her, she managed to cut the power to the house and her own parents with their own... Well, that, that sounds very sinister. What did she do to her parents and with what? I have to go back to that house. The nightmares I'm having are real. She is still there, waiting for me. I can still help her. If I don't come back, know that I love you and I'm sorry. John. Okay. Be gone, demon. Or, I guess we won't stop and stop these things from spinning. I was expecting them to, to stop when... And stop making it upside down, cross. My God, what happened to you? Do you think my face is pretty? I have to finish what I started. She died, priest. Well, we'll see about that. Yeah, take that. Hmm. Do we just keep going, or... Ah, uh, no. We should have... Well, crap. Okay, but... 
please tell me that we don't need to fight and we don't need to fight her again to open the door to the attic. Please. Ah, oh, thank God. My God, what happened to you? Do you think Can I, I skip you, this? Baby. Apparently not. I have to finish what I started. Alright, let's do this. I don't even know that how long this chapter is, so once we are done with this, we may have even we may even fin finish the entire first chapter. Okay, come here, bitch, I dare you. Oh, that didn't work out. Morty. My god, what happened to you? Do you think my face is pretty? I have to finish what I started. Kill my priest. Okay, so, let's try this again. The name of Christ compels you. I might have to... I might have to make my move when he stopped, when he stops. Not sure. Oh, uh, I was too far away, I think. Oh, wait, no. Is this how... is this how I'm supposed to do this? I don't even need to be right next to her, which is good. Oh, I tried to turn around, but... Like this. If only there was a health bar or something to tell me that... oh, there we go. I can see you. What the? I was like, I, I was attacking the wrong one. Shit. Well, at least we don't need to do the first phase of the battle again. That's good. Okay, come at me, bitch. Hmm? What the? Okay. Not sure how this works. It's certainly different than from before. Oh. And then we just dodge her, okay. Oh, damn. This is quite intense, actually. Damn. Which one? Uh, there we go. Oh shit. Phew. That was a close one too. Come on. Okay, I'm so I'm starting to get it. Oh. Phew. You're still not done? Maybe I'm missing a step here. Oh! <clears throat> Shit. Okay, ah, oh, I'm have to do it like this too. Okay. Do this while she's vulnerable. One more time, I take it. You know, third time's the charm. No, four times. Come on, take it. Still going. Still keeps going. Damn. Oh.
How many times? How many times am I have to do this? There we go. Finally. Was that five or six times? Oh shit! Oh. That. That happened too quick. Okay, so now she just kills me with one hit. Okay. Well, she always killed me with one hit, but still. Oh. <laughs> this is so... This is quite difficult, not gonna lie. So, what am I supposed to do here now? Attack when she stops, okay. So when they are... So when they are blinking like that, it means that they are... Mm, invulnerable. That's what I think it means. Oh, crap. <clears throat> if only our priest would... Move a lot faster, that would help us a lot. Oh, god damn it. That's... that's such a cheap shot. That is such a cheap shot. Oh, god damn it. I would also... I would also like to, uh... End this episode here, but at the same time, I don't know if I can. Oh, god damn it. Well, I can just finish the episode here, but... Yeah, is the game saved here? Can I continue from here next time? Oh shit! Also, is she following the pattern of the pentagram here? Because if that's the case, then god damn it! Because if that's the case, then maybe I can predict where she's going. She seems to be following the pentagram. Okay, that's the second time. Oh. Shit. That was a close one. Mm, couldn't get a good hit on her. Oh shit, I was so... I was doing so well too. Can I just stay here and be safe? If she follows the pentagram, hitting her will be much harder, but... Okay, I can hit her now. Mm, oh, crap. Okay, I'm starting to get her patterns. First she goes to left. Like that, and she goes to the bottom. Following the pentagram. Then she goes to the uh, right. Then she goes to the top right. Then she goes to the top left. And then to the uh, bottom right. The uh, bottom left, even. Or not. Okay, that, that was new. Did we do it? No. Oh, that was a close one. Almost walked into her. Okay, finally we did it. Fuck yes. I died like... Feels like 30 times. And then she just flew off. Then she just decided to fly off. Okay, I'm gonna end this episode here now, finally, because I, I noticed the floppy disk symbol, so the game so the game saved. Hopefully the game also remembers um, the last time when we saved, when I reboot the game next time. But we'll see. 
So, until then. Thank you for watching, and see you next time for more Fate.